Right now, the Casey Anthony case back in the spotlight. And the big question being asked, did the prosecution drop the ball? A bombshell report coming out of Orlando says prosecutors and police overlooked Anthony's Google searches on, quote, foolproof suffocation, a possible smoking gun that could have doomed the mother of Kaylee Anthony, who was found not guilty of her child's murder. And the findings in the sensational report seem to be backed up by claims made by Anthony's own defense lawyer, Jose Baez. He first dropped the Internet search bombshell this past summer in his book on the case. Fred Tisi, he's a former federal prosecutor and trial attorney. Dan Shore, a former prosecutor. Good to see both of you. Thank uh, you for having me. Yeah, this Thank is you. unbelievable. And this Google search, by the way, was taking place on June 16th, 2008, the last day that Kaylee Anthony was seen. So I'll start with you on this one. Fred, can we use the B word? I mean, was this just absolutely botched? No. Uh, let me tell you why. Okay, should they have found it? Yes. Would it have been helpful? Perhaps. Would it have changed the outcome? No way in a thousand years. I don't care what Jose Baez says. Look, you've got to remember something. The entire reason that the coroner ruled that this was a homicide was because she found duct tape near this young child's remains, and although she said the cause of death was indefinite. And the theory that the government used was is that she was suffocated with duct tape. These searches were about a plastic bag. And when you try cases and when you're a prosecutor, the analogy I use is it's like being a kamikaze pilot. You have to pick a theory and go with it. You can't go with alternative theories. You have to take a drink of sake, scream bonsai, and fly your plane into the boat. This evidence would not have helped the prosecution's case because their theory was, was that this young woman, this young girl, was suffocated with a piece of duct tape. And there was a ton of other reasonable doubts, so I don't see it making a difference. Dan, what do you say? You know, I, <clears throat> I disagree. Here you had a case where Kaylee was found with duct tape over her nose and mouth. The defense was saying it was accidental death. The prosecution was trying to show that it was intentional suffocation. Here you have a Google search for suffocation at the time where Kaylee was probably killed, and that's consistent. That's important evidence. Even if it's not the exact same type of suffocation, it does lend the jury, give the jury more evidence to support a conviction here. And Fred, yeah, let's... You know go, what? Go I, I'm sorry, go ahead, Ethel. No, go you ahead. go. Your, your turn, Fred. Go ahead. No, no, no. But, but here's the problem. And, and Look, I've said it from the get-go. This case reeked of reasonable doubt. They couldn't even find a reason why the, what, the, how this child had been killed. The, the evidence about the chloroform, all the stuff, we could go through a chapter and verse. And I hear what Dan's saying, and yes, it's a piece of evidence that may have helped the prosecution, but again, Jose Bias would have stood up and yelled and screamed about, it's just more reasonable doubt. They can't even tell you if she was, if she was murdered with duct tape. Now they want you to think it was with a bag. Well, Jose they can't Bias even really said tell that you he was, the one. he was prepared to say if the Google search had been brought into court, he was prepared to say, look, it was the father who was so distraught over little Kaylee's drowning that perhaps he was looking for a way to commit suicide. Well, I got to tell you something. Jose Baez shouldn't have said one word, not a single word, after the prosecution rested in that case because the jury came back and found no, no, insufficient evidence and overwhelming reasonable doubt. So he can yell and scream about the father, the mother, the brother. No, that's what he said. He would have said. That's what he would have said. Well, I know what he would have said, but it wouldn't have made a difference. Dan, let me talk to you about this. That they're saying that the Orange County Sheriff's Office gave the prosecution a, a spreadsheet with less than two hmm. percent of the information from uh, Casey's uh, computer computer that particular day. I mean, really, is that, uh, why weren't they given the actual hard drive so they could go over it themselves and look for evidence? Well, effective computer forensic work is very difficult. You need experts who really know what they're looking for and are thorough, and somehow there was miscommunication. The important evidence was not given to the prosecutors. I also know as a former prosecutor that you don't always get all the evidence you need from the investigators. You need to really push them to make sure you have every detail and follow up. And maybe they did That's in true. this case and they still didn't receive it, but there was miscommunication here and a crucial piece of evidence that might have led to a conviction, we don't know, was overseen. Well, Fred, I have to go, but I'm just going to jump in here with this uh, quickly, and that is, I know your, your stance on this uh, from an attorney's uh, point of view, but this has been a very emotional case for a lot of people to watch and to hear this information that even though you d said won't, wouldn't have made a difference, I think it uh, really Listen. smacks people right in the, the heart. Well, i got to tell you something. I, 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 if you're asking me if, in my opinion, this young woman caused the death of that child, my answer has never wavered on that one, one little tiny bit. And if you're asking me whether or not this country has a right to be a, a, appalled by what happened, I agree with that. My, added, my only position is, is, and I won't waver on this, is, is that I'm sorry. The evidence, there wasn't enough evidence to convict this woman. I didn't like it, but that's the way it was. And you can file a motion to change the facts, but I've never won one as a prosecutor. 
Fred TC, Dan Shore, thank you to both of you for your time and analysis this morning, thank this you. afternoon. Thank, thank you, you for having me. Mm -hmm.